All right, I stopped at a Walmart because I figured, what the hell, might as well check Crash Bar. You're new, I think, and Crosscut. Yeah, I've never seen you guys before, so okay, you're starting to show up. Uh, let's see. Turtles, looks like same old turtle stuff. All right, look at you. Finally seeing these in the stores here. It's crossfire. Egghead. Ultron, which I do need. Look at that. A bit Fortuna, Poplu, and Boba Fett, Emperor. Wow. Haven't seen this wave at a Walmart before, but that's pretty cool to see them. Interesting. Look at that. Death Troopers. Fit Dan. We know. MJF. Thunder. Sheamus. Rock and roll. Let's see. Love that. So I came to your home outlet. I haven't been here in a very long time. So I figured, what the hell, check it out, see what's here. I definitely got some pops in, so that's pretty cool. There was some plush. Um, and then of course, there's a whole lot of other like kid stuff too, but some random stuff. So this is why I haven't been here in a while. Cause look, they dropped the price on this. Now these are eight bucks and there is a ton I don't know, maybe I'll get two? Because eight bucks is actually really good. Really good. Look at that. What else is here? Some Power Rangers is here. $16, eh, it's okay. Uh, look at that, Everett Ross for 10 bucks. They got two of them. Bradshaw, 12 bucks, eh, it's okay. They have a Baroness for $9.99, which is a good price, but Ollie's now has it for $4.99, and they have Ironheart for $14, which is actually a really good deal too. Now, this is crazy. Where they found this for 40 bucks, and now they put it for 27, that's kind of stupid, especially when I got it for $6.49. And yeah, that's that sucks too for that price. So you can't win them all, but I mean, look, there's I'm on the opposite side of the shelf now. There's a ton, eight bucks. I think this was like 15 or something like that. Yeah, this was $15 before. So just the effect alone and oh, look at that. So I saw the spinning rack here too, which is crazy. Cause look at that. This is a near perfect card. <laughs> this prototype edition. And there is a taped up so this is kind of questionable to see what could be in here but 10 bucks not bad for that price and look at you the retro reaction there's another one over here this one's bent up more but still same price oh look there's a i didn't even notice marion right there for seven dollars it's funny how disavowed always tells you to look up and i looked up and there is a pallet 
of this. That's a palette of Doctor Strange. Let me see if I'll just like... Yeah, I'm buying two. I'm gonna buy two. Isn't that just dumb of me? But look at this. All right, we're here at a Walmart. Uh, it's been quite a few weeks since I've been to this Walmart, so figured I'd take a look, see what is here. Um, not really looking for much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is this still in there? No, nah, something's missing. The alternate head sculpt, maybe? Jesus. Uh, look at that. They finally got the retro wave in. It's regular price here. Corvac, definitely want Corvac. Crossfire, I definitely want to. So it's nice to see the newer waves, um, but unfortunately the $25 price kind of turns you off. So we will wait. Oh crap, there is more up there. Look at that. But it's all regular price, so it's a shame. Target with their sale prices right now, damn. Uh, let me see some Blue Beetle. So the Batman the Fight for Frozen or something like that. I forgot what it's called. Uh, yep. Let's move over here. And Dungeons and Dragons. And let's see. Black Series. Wow, they got a lot of Black Series in. A restock of these coming in. Look at that. I haven't seen this wave at this store before, but there's Dinjarin's there too. Darth Vader Obi-Wan version. Cool. Uh, let's see. Adam Page. That. Cool. We do have older ones. Haven't seen any newer ones yet. Scrap irons here, but of course, you know how much that's going to cost. That's $45 right there. And, oh my god, look, a Crimson Guard. 25 bucks. I don't know if I can find an Ollie's for five bucks. I'm actually, I'm definitely gonna do that. Rock and Rolls here too. Got a bunch of Lady J's. Now, you rarely get to see figure arts at Walmart, but I mean, it's 35 bucks because these are great prices for these. I can't recall, do I have this one? <laughs> I, maybe I do, because I just don't remember that Dragon Ball that's down there, that's crazy. I'm also having trouble if I have this one, which I'm sure I do, but Jesus, that sucks when you don't, you forget. Uh, that, Miko? You're kidding me. Look at that, Leo and Donnie. All right, Burlington Coat Factory. Jesus. We have a mere case of the Target exclusive Cobra Island Roadblock. That's funny. That's really funny. This is cool too. Look at that Rekgar sweep. $12.99. $12.99. Then here's that uh, ATV. Ten bucks. Even this thing. Look at that. That's uh, $17.99 for the two pack. All right, guys, let's see if we find anything. It's been like three weeks since I've been here. Jeez. Okay. A lot of the Flash stuff, older stuff, Black Adam stuff still sticking around. Um, and a lot of the black and whites. That's wild, right? Mirrorverse, the vinyls, Fortnite. Um, this is where they have G.I. Joe's, but it is older stuff. But look at that. They have some Crimson Guards for $14.99. That's actually awesome. $14.99 is a great price. Absolutely great price. Um, even if it was at Target, it would have been $12.49. So that's not bad. Oof, Marvel Legends, my God. They really gotta get cheaper here. It's not gonna go anywhere. Mantis, did I see you here last time? Cause I don't remember. I don't remember, but that's cool to see it. Iron Hearts here, which I have no idea how much that is anyway. And Baku's still here, could still pick that one up. $8.99, great price for Gate Bishop. 
still a lot of Lokis. Yandu, I'm sure will really fill up here. That's wild. This is it here for Masters of the Universe. That's crazy. And wrestling really, really got small. So they must have gotten rid of a lot of it. A whole lot. I mean, some of these are $4.99 still. Uh, some two packs. Jeff Hardy's here. League of Legends, which we've seen before. And of course, a lot of pops. Fury and you look at that snake eyes. Hmm. Never thought I would see them. What's up guys, how are you? Quite a different uh, video in regards to the different stores that I've been to. It's not your typical liquidation or Ali stores, but we did hit up two newer ones. I mean, half off store we went to, which was actually pretty good. Um, but we went to an old one, a much, much older store that I haven't been to for a while. And you guys saw it, the Your Home Outlet, which is crazy. We just went there. We actually found a lot of cool stuff for the house, but then they had the toy section and I was like, oh my God, look at this. They actually get some stuff in. I, I can't believe this might be a free, maybe a frequent stop of mine. I have no idea, but uh, we'll see. I will, we will see. So what do we get? Let's start with that because there was packages and some pickups, but let me know what you guys think. Let's check them out. Pickups. Look at that. I picked up two. Uh, I picked up two. Uh, I, I know I wanted one because it's the effect. It's the effect that I wanted. Uh, it's crazy, right? It's absolutely crazy. They're eight bucks. You can see that right there. They used to be 15 bucks because the last time I was at this store, there was 15, well, $15. So they definitely reduced it because it didn't move honestly because the first time i was there i don't think anyone bought it and they were just stacked with it and then seeing up at the top a full palette a full palette of these guys every us uh, unbelievable like i might go back and just like see if i can strike a deal be like let me have two boxes for like 20 bucks <laughs> you know what i mean uh but i have to go back anyway because nj tree wants one and carver customs want one we, I, I will definitely go back and pick some up because they're not going anywhere. No one's going to be buying that stuff. Uh, $8 is a good price because when you think about it, uh, when Target clearance these out, they were like $7.50. So $8, bucks, i will take it. Half off store, I did pick this up. Absolutely. Because I did buy it when it first came out. I bought it for $24.99. I still have the receipt and I'm going to... <laughs> uh, I now paid 15 bucks for it. I have not seen these since the first time I picked it up. It's been a while. 
it's definitely been a while. And I saw I'd never seen them go on clearance. I know some of them did go on clearance at several different stores, but my stores never had them anymore. So getting for 15 bucks, I'll take it. And I did find Future Iron Man again, but this time, $7.49. Hell yes, $7.49. I will grab it. The $12.49 one is going right back to the store. Finding these things cheaper, incredible. If I can definitely find more of this wave down to the $7.49 price, such as Ultron, Egghead, Kang, you know what I mean? Wasp. I, I will do that because I did pick them up at $12.49 and then I never saw them again. But some of them, some stores are still holding on to them. No one's buying it. So I'm hoping they drop down just a little bit for that $7.49 price. That'll be even sweeter. <clears throat> so first package. This, if you watch my recent live stream, you guys saw me open this actually. So this is what was in here. This is from a good friend, Brandon, over in Washington who was able to find this figure at the mispriced amount, $11.99. G.I. Joe Classified Grunt. They were selling it for $11.99. Some stores wouldn't sell it until a certain date. Some stores would not. But now, the $11.99 price, $11 price is no longer. They fixed it to the $24.99 price. But he did pick it up for me for $11.99 which is really cool so thank you brandon um i did open him up so there he is very very cool i i love the look of this this is straight up army builder right there that's awesome and then i did get some walmart packages too so first package bigger one which is ridiculous why is it a bigger box but it is uh we did get look at that range vipers yes absolutely i had these when i was a kid meaning i had the three and three quarter o-ring range vipers so seeing this in classified oh my god oh hell yes this is awesome i did open one up during my live stream and the gun is warped but it still looks cool as hell look at this can you believe that that is ridiculous in regards to the warpness of their weapons it's it's it sucks. It definitely sucks. I'm going to fix it, but this figure, unbelievable. I love that look. This brings me back to my childhood because the Range Vipers were so cool to me for G.I. Joe. So, got my two. And here's the other Walmart package. This one came separately, which is fine, but at least it came in a box, right? It came in a box. Look at that. Big Ben, Big Ben, Night Force, which is a whole new subline for the J.I. Joe Classified series, but we did get Big Ben. There he is. Really cool to see him. I don't know much about him, but I love the look. It's another character for the G.I. Joe line. It's awesome. And one other final package, which it's regular price, but I picked it up because of the free shipping and all that stuff with Walmart. I did it anyway, but I picked it up and my first time owning this character in Marvel Legends, I did pick up Kraven. So he looks great. He still looks pretty good. The face still weirds me out, but it's a better version of the Kraven figure in Marvel Legends. It is definitely more animated series, of course. So he will still fit in. But I'm glad to have it. I'm actually glad to have it. More villains on my Spider-Man shelf as well. There you go. Card looks good because it came in a box. That's awesome. And there you have it, guys. This was a great hunt. I greatly appreciate you guys sticking around, watching the video. As always, it means the world to me. So thank you so much. Everyone, all the new subscribers, definitely appreciate you jumping on. Moving up to that 5,200 subscriber mark. That's awesome. So we're slowly setting up to 6,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. But I hope you guys like the hunt. I hope you like the pickups that I got. We'll be opening more of this stuff on the live stream that I have every Monday night at 9 p.m. So check that out as well. Um, next week is New York Comic Con. So we will be doing a lot of videos next week. So I appreciate it, guys. 
like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.